Thank you, Nolly. And don't give me that stupid tone of voice. It's not paranoia, and I'm not interfering. When I came in this morning to see the freezer stock rotating, he was already here working on some weird concoction. Most of the time he's holed up in that bloody pantry. <sighs> pantry? It's more like a sodding laboratory in there. Nolly, you know you're not... Before you say anything, I know I'm not supposed to go anywhere near the pantry. But I've seen him, plenty of times, wandering around with his weird samples and spores and whatever the fuck. Anyway, this morning, there he was, poking around in some disgusting looking God knows what. And he had his headphones on, so I thought I'd wait until he finished, especially after last time. It was while I was waiting that I overheard... Greetings. This message is for concerned parties only. We are about to begin final negotiations with the current custodians who appear to be an evolution of a primitive pagan religious cult. The primary objective is still the procurement of a specimen containing the full molecular chain, enough of which to begin working with. Arrangements have already been set in place to have the spoils of this particular undertaking transported to you ahead of our return, but any commodity that we send through to you is going to be excessively volatile and incredibly unstable. We need to exercise extreme caution. Under no circumstances should any amount of any samples be allowed to come into contact or cross-contaminate organic matter or any type of foodstuffs. There are substances beyond our understanding at work here. Ancient evil or not, we are resolute in a favorable outcome for us and our benefactors after all, everyone's got to eat, right? Well, it was some seriously weird, whacked out shit, Gerdit. And it really freaked me out. I knew you'd not believe me, so I... Well, I've got Come the... Come on, Ollie. It's probably nothing. Keeping a supply, guys. It's just their way. Well, it's an odd fucking way. There's some kooky shit going on here, Gerdit. I think I can prove it. I need to chill the fuck out of there. At least I'm out here and not in there with those two whacked out fucking flakes. You're out here because you're supposed to be helping. 
I am helping. From right here. How many people does Kit think it takes to dump a couple of bin bags full of soil burritos, anyhow? And why couldn't Numnuts have done it himself? He's the one that made that mess in the first place, tripping over his own dumb fucking feet. Hey, did I tell you he tried to hit on me earlier? Some dumb excuse about wanting to talk to me about a delivery. It was so bloody obvious because he sloped in, late, as per usual, with a sudden delivery in his stupid arms. And then he had the cheek to try and question me about it. Do you know what? It's probably that same delivery you're cleaning up now. He's an odd one too, Gerdip. Him and Kip. They both give me the heebie-jeebies. Don't take forever in there. And don't go rummaging through those bin bags again. Could be quicker with some actual help here. Just get on with it. I'm not going in there. Especially not in this odd darkness. That shell's got to be crawling with all sorts of little critters. Hey, Nolly. There's something. Give me strength. I'm surrounded by retards.
myself a treat. Sadness tastes like French fries. And anger tastes like wine. But toast can make a loyal friend. Everything is wonderful. Yeah. So walk it off, walk it off, circle the block. The cookies and cream are starting to talk to me. I'm just crazy, crazy. 